Hi, uh, my name is Wes. Um, most of you who see this video will probably know me. Some may know me better than others. But as you can probably tell just by looking at me, I don't really feel real well. I suffer from a disease that unfortunately I feel affects way too many people. Of course, that disease is cancer. Um, the specific type I have is Hodgkin's lymphoma, which I'm very lucky in the fact it's very beatable. So I've got a lot of rejoicing there in that fact. Unfortunate things, you still have to go through the chemotherapies and the things like that. And it's just a very, very difficult time. Um, honestly, I've always been a hard-working guy from 05 until, shoot, all the way up even to now. I've been working in the same industry, a couple different companies, though. And during my time period there, I've never missed a day. Hard-working fella. Uh, if you go back before 05, I didn't really miss many days, very, very few and far between. I, I've just always been a hard-working guy. I figured I could always work through anything, but not this. My first... My first treatment was the day after Christmas 2013. The specific treatment I'm on is called AVDB, which is apparently a pretty normal treatment for Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, the B of that stands for bleomycin, if I didn't butcher that too much. My mind's not as sharp as it used to be, you have to forgive me a little bit. But anyways, bleomycin, I tell you what, that's some nasty stuff and it will mess you up. But I tell you what. The day after my first treatment, I thought just like anything else, I'll tough through it, go to work the next day, no problem. You know what I did? But I tell you what, day two, no. It caught up with me, and it caught up with me hard. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I got low, real low. And a lot of people don't realize that I'm a very, very spiritual fella. I cling to my, my scripture and my guns. Well, not necessarily the guns so much, but scripture especially. But I tell you the truth, even I got low. I get asked a lot of questions about how cancer affects your body, how the treatments are, things like that. And one of the things a lot of people ask, well meaning, what can I do to help? How can I help? And I'm going to give you guys a very, very simple, but very true answer to that question. It's called the power of hello honestly applies to more than just cancer patients, it applies to anyone who's hurting. Anyone who needs a shoulder or a hand to hold. I got real low. I clung to my faith, to my belief. But God knows that even my faith can be tested beyond even its limit. But he knew at that point that by then, neighbors would begin to showing up. People I've never met coming over and bringing food, people I've never even known, still have never even met, coming and shoveling our driveway from freaking 10 inches of snow we got. People I've never even met or seen because they cared. And then the cards come rolling in to the mailbox. Cards of prayers, cards of get well wishes, and so many other things. And I tell you the truth, those small things like that, even if it's just a small little message on a, on a Facebook page, mean so much to a person who's really down and really hurting. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you're suffering with cancer or any other disease or sickness, but to have that shoulder to be able to lean on, that hand to be able to cling to means so much. That's the power of hello. The power of hello is hope. Because the truth is, I was talking with my Aunt Sue, and she's a wonderful woman. And she told me, eventually your own strength does fail you. And I tell you the truth, my strength failed me in that first week. But by the time my strength has failed, the power of people caring about me was beginning to fill my hand. Beginning to help to carry me through. And that means a lot. It meant a lot. And I know there's still going to be days like that ahead of me. And I've got a lot of friends who can use the same help too. The power of hello sounds silly, but it's not.
It's important. I was talking with my Aunt Sue. She was talking about how one night she had gotten so weak, so bad in a hospital. Someone sat up there all with her all night. She wasn't, she wasn't even sure who it was. Just holding her hand through the night. And it helped to get her through. And she said, you know, whenever you get to the point you just don't have the strength anymore, someone's going to be there to hold your hand through it. And that's special. And that means a lot. Truth is, if you want to help, it's the small things that count. It doesn't have to be anything special. Simple, simple words. Hello. Let another person know what you care. And that means so much. I'm going to upload this video onto YouTube if you like it, if you want to share it with your friends. Do all that good stuff that you guys normally do out there in YouTube and Facebook worlds. I'm not technologically savvy. I'm not trying to do anything special. But truth be told, one of the things that cancer does to you kind of makes your fingertips a little... Eh, they don't really quite sense stuff right and well I've got a touch screen phone so guess what you're getting videos because <laughs> I can't type very well anymore but anyways that's beside the point I want to let all of you know I'm very very thankful for all the cards all the well wishes and all the things that people have done for me no matter how small to no matter how large we are very thankful for them and we're very glad to know that we can lean upon one another and upon so many others who have counted so much for us I just wanted to share this short thought with you this evening. I'll probably be putting this up tomorrow after I let my wife proofread it to make sure it's not dumb. <laughs> but otherwise, out there, to all my friends, my family, I love you all. Have a good evening.